Hola a todos y bienvenidos a las Chorri Aventuras de Blood Bowl. Continuamos con American Arcadia. Arcadia Americana. Papá Americano. Donde vamos a ver... Si encontramos información sobre cómo deslavar el cerebro de... El señor Mostachudo. Pero recordemos que aquí está... La jefa incordiante y más gentucilla. Cucu. Así que no tengo claro que podamos movernos. Libremente. I know, I know, but just in case, let's make sure we don't get out of hand with the boldness. <laughs> yeah. To ensure that our citizens never leave, we need them to not have any interest in anything other than living a happy life in our. Hey, what is this? The four They're steps of the realignment jingle? Don't get me wrong, our citizens will be interesting. Celebrities, athletes, musicians, but always local celebrities, local athletes, and local musicians, things like that. Even so, there will always be those who, driven by mere curiosity and an irrational impulse or just plain and simple stupidity, will do something that might bring them close to the dome's edge. We are saving an ace up our sleeve for that situation. Any violation of the Burbank Act will result in the absolute suppression of all means of self-control of that particular individual. Hmm? That feeling of well-being will turn into almost complete incapacitation. If that measure isn't enough, They must perceive the outside world as a hostile, harsh, and unwelcoming environment, even threatening. To keep citizens from wanting to leave, we will have to reinforce each and every one of their fears. Arcadia means safety. The world outside means danger. But we have to give them the illusion of freedom. Otherwise, we will face another breakout. Uh, and the only way to achieve this requires a complete distortion in their perception of freedom. They will not long for it, because Arcadia will be the only place where they can feel really free. Their only aspiration uh, must be routine. To ensure that our citizens never leave, we need them to not have any interest the in The absolute suppression other than of all means of self control. Uh, their only aspiration must be routine. Don't get me wrong, we our need to strengthen each and every fear. Celebrities, athletes, musicians. This But requires a total distortion in their perception of freedom. Musicians, things like that. Even so, Jesus. there will always This shit be is Orwellian those who and disgusting. Driven by Donald Walter was a really sick man. This is still. This is still. I wonder what this panel does. It's hexagon level. Do not activate it. It is not safe to take any unnecessary risks, Kovacs. I still wonder what this might be for. We should focus on finding useful information to help Trevor instead. There must be a reason why this is here, <laughs> right? We do not know what that panel does, Kovacs. <laughs> Leave it alone. Ah, uh, I have to activate it, number six. No, you do not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to do it. Damn it, Angela, I told you not to mess with that. <laughs> Oh, dioses. They're breeding babies in here, number six. Oh, sons of bitches. They feed them that realignment jingle shit when they're born. It's like a clockwork orange, but with babies. This is 
terrible. It is inhumane. Those monsters. Looks like every brand in the world has a spot here. What do you mean? Well, their logos are everywhere. Car brands, computer manufacturers. There are several of these QR cards scattered around. I wonder what they're for. There are several of these QR cards scattered around. I wonder what they're for. They must hire the worst of the worst to work here. I mean, how could you live with yourself knowing what you're doing to people? Well, you work at American Arcadia. Ooh, okay, that was a low blow number six. There are several of these QR cards scattered around. I wonder what they're for. There are several of these QR cards scattered around. I wonder what they're for. Llama demasiada atención los QRs, así que será importante. There are several of these QR cards scattered around. I wonder what they're for. Nice that they sent everybody home. I guess the lockdown was a good thing after all. Definitely. Hmm. What do we have here? This machine seems to require a subject ID code to work. Kovacs, set it to Trevor's. 10-392. Hmm. There are some branded logos in this machine. And they seem to be related to the jingle somehow. Are those... Brainwaves? So this is what Trevor experiences every time he hears the jingle? Oh my god. That's how they tailor the preferences of Arcadia citizens and prepare everything that happens around them. Setting aside how ethically reprehensible this might be, this machine will tell us how Trevor's brain reacts to external stimuli. We should use it to our advantage, Kovacs. Yeah. There's a QR reader in this machine, so I better find something to feed it. A por los QRs. An Adenet dating service. Most citizens end up being matched with NPCs who provide them with exciting and generally completely fake love stories. Rush Motors. The guys who manufacture the perfect work of engineering, according to Trevor. Teníamos aquí unos cuantos más. Vivian's Disco Club. No matter where I go, I keep seeing her. Ah, uh, this is that awful line of workout videos and fitness meals. I think they sponsor Steve Just. Looks like a retro version of an SP Next joypad. A ver aquí arriba qué hay. Silla del realineamiento. Pet food, from Labradors to Florida box turtles. Huh, looks like this booth can be programmed to generate something entirely different. A, a customized jingle, if you will. Vale. Uh, Kovacs, this isn't correct. I was thinking. That jingle generator you mentioned, it might come in handy. For what? I don't see a way to remove the jingle from Trevor using this thing. Maybe we cannot remove it, but we can induce the opposite message. You're talking about creating an anti-jingle? Apparently, I coined the term. But it was number six who laid out the whole thing. <laughs> it sounds simple, convincing, and a good idea. Yeah. First, 
We completely distort the vision of his routine. We show him how strange his ordinary life is by altering it. Next, we strengthen his sense of control. We reinforce his decision making and provide him with resolution <laughs> instead of suppressing it. After that, we remove Trevor's fear of the outside world. There would be nothing to stop him from getting out. And then we give him a new aspiration. Total and complete freedom. Yeah. Is number six? That plan might not be a long shot after all. No, que va a escamar la personalidad completamente. Ship. No es un cambio... No, no, no es un lavado de ser. Es un cambio de personalidad completo. No veo que puede salir mal de ahí. According to this, Trevor feels like a romantic relationship might turn his world upside down. He might not have any control of his life, and this scares him. Yep, that sounds like him. This machine works, no doubt about it. A healthier life would make Trevor less scared of dying, but also more unhappy and less free. Trevor's pet turtle Kovacs is a pillar of everyday happiness for him. Social events really stress Trevor out, and they seem to turn his mood upside down. Driving makes Trevor feel in control, but also in need of some freedom. Trevor looks pretty skilled playing video games, but from the looks of it, he doesn't have a great time playing them anymore. Vale, así que necesitamos... Que... Corazón... Corazón, coche... Animales... Corazón, coche, animales... Coche. Corazón, coche, animales, coche. We don't want this. No. Not a chance. Es decir, si lo que me has planteado es correcto. Y lo que queremos es que la rutina se distorsione tiene que ser en corazón. El control va a coche. Ah, bueno, falta música. Falta música. Está aquí. Instrument manufacturer. I guess this might represent music. Fíjate, la teníamos al lado la música. Playing piano strengthens Trevor's mastery and his sense of freedom. Vale, así que hay, como no, probablemente lo que pase, probablemente lo que pase es que no pueda repetir, es corazón, música, animales, coche.
corazón, música, animales, coches. Si no, pues será viendo sumas y restas. Corazón, música, animales, coche. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like I got it, number six. I got it. Now, what do we do next? The drive-in theater must be the place. And while he's looking at the adjustment screen through his busy aroma goggles, we send the anti-jingle through the audio system, and bam, Trevor is free of the jingle. Damn it! What is happening? Attention all security personnel. Come immediately to realignment. There has been a security breach in the hexagon. Most attractive callbacks. You better get out of there, now! Shit, shit, shit! So, in that moment, I realized that I had to escape from a top-notch security building if I didn't want to spend my life in jail. Needless to say, I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. I was worried sick about Trevor, but number six was there with him, so what could go wrong? Muchas cosas. Trevor, this is number six. I will be here to help you through the whole deprogramming process. What? Why? Where's Angela? Kovacs had to go. But everything will be okay, I promise. Meanwhile, I will be in charge of this whole operation. Uh, okay. What do I do now? Move forward, please. Hey, this is Arpad Kovacs' workshop. That is correct. Look around for some sort of headset. Those would be Visiorama goggles. Creo que las he encontrado. I can see them here. Put them on, please. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Oh boy, that's Elijah Walton's car. The Walton mobile. Yes. Get in the car and drive straight ahead. Once you've arrived, I will take care of the rest. Okay, great. You know, I got to admit, this town does have a special kind of charm. It means a lot to me. It was the last thing I saw from Arcadia before getting out. Okay, I'm here. Shall we do this, Trevor? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Cross your fingers, Trevor. We are counting on you. Vamos a hacer... Nos va a dar el cerebro. De repente nos gustan mucho las chorventuras de Gaz. Nos gustan mucho. How are you feeling now, Trevor? Uh, should I be feeling any different? I don't know. Everything is still the same. I don't think this worked at all, number six. You want me to stay in here? This is a waste of time. Ah, oh, crap. So, what do we do now? Do you guys have a plan Z? Number six? Are you there? What on earth? This is so weird. <laughs> Don't be a fool, Trevor. Distort your routine. Perdona? Who said that? Trevor Hills, welcome to American Arcadia, Stage 10B, Sector 9. Your life has been broadcast live for 28 years, 6 months, and 2 days. But nobody gives two shits about <laughs> it. Thank you. Hello, 
Clark? Hi, Trevor. Lucille? Hi. Who the fuck are you? Hello, mannequin. Hello. I did show hello. Hello, empty chair. How's your day? Genial. Trevor, my man. Gus, <laughs> you're not dead. Of course I'm not. I'm living on the edge now. Who would have thought, huh? By the way, you're going to the Spire party tonight? No, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to do something interesting for the audience? <laughs> Once in a while? Sending to Ada and validated. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Strengthen your control. I'm inside a video game? Space Cadet, are you ready to infiltrate the secret Spectrex fortress? No, I'm not into video games anymore. We need you to defeat the evil Spectrex army once and for all. <laughs> Admiral, uh, yeah. where do I go? There's no way to... Space Cadet, execute the downward to upward escape maneuver. The what? Oh. Ah, this is a bucle. Well done, Space Cadet. You'll rise in the ranks in no time. Donde? Oh, vaya. Espera, espera, salta. Y salta. Y salta. Press the button to destroy the Spectrex Fortress once and for all. Well done. Oops. Oh. Vaya. Oh. You managed to defeat the evil Spectrex army and save the galaxy. <laughs> Now enter your initials. Congratulations, Space Cadet TCH. The stellar defense is proud of you. Thank you for playing. Insert coin. <laughs> Insert coin. <laughs> Muy bien, me parece. No puedo moverme. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Suppress your fear. ¿Y ahora qué? ¿Y esos ojos? You want to share? You got anything to show us? We're bored. I want to oh. know more about you. Tell me about it. How do you feel about everything? I don't really want to know, but I need 
need entertainment. Open up to us. We're eager to consume your life. Es perturbador. Hey, you. You're blocking my way. Move, damn it. You move, jerk. Go down now. Shut up. I have to go up and I have to go down, you idiot. Move. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Would you please stop arguing? We've been stuck here for hours. What the? Vale. Hey, Trevor, keep going, man. The exit's right there. Uh, it's uh, taking quite a long time. How long have I been walking this way? Did the other Trevor send you? The exit's a little bit further, man. Just a few more steps and you're out, Trevor. <laughs> Did the other Trevor send you here, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor sent me here, Trevor. There must be a way out, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, but which way? No, 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 no. It's the other way around, Trevor. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Vale, es bastante perturbador. We don't really care about you. We just want to judge you. You're not good American Arcadia material, boy. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the scent of a subject on the run. Oh, dioses. Shiver with fear. Shivert is near. Me shivert. You won't make it out of here. Ya verás. Your rhymes suck. Intentional or unintentional. Ya ver de los miserables y fifa fun del juego arcade, bueno del juego. You know I'll be watching you. Subject 10392. 10392, beware. I can see you just right there. Del, del juego del último Italia, es de Marvel. You can scream, you can shout, but you will never ever get out. You know I'll be watching you, subject 10392. You won't get out of Arcadia. You hear me? I won't allow it! Lentamente. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner, which isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Trevor Hills. Any fans of Trevor Hills here? Of course not, because he has a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. Emocionante. He might find it hard to believe right now, but we really care about his well-being. 
Nah, actually, we don't. So <laughs> please, when you finish this obstacle course, there's an agreement I need you to sign. Then we'll brainwash you and let you go. Or maybe not. Who knows? That's the way we handle Arcadia's intricate lies. Oh, look, it's Poinciana Drive, 1465, the most uninteresting house in Arcadia. Vale, me encanta el cambio. Please, leave me alone. Me encanta el cambio de... De estilo. Ooh, looks like he found out he's <gasps> inside a TV show. What is Average Joe gonna do now? And most important, who cares? Shut up! You're a horrible person! <laughs> horrible, but interesting. Unlike you. What the? Trevor, the ratings are plummeting, and it's all your fault. Me very well. Now Trevor is inside the Grand Hotel Cygnus, although he obviously can't afford it. I live in Arcadia. Why would I want to stay at a hotel? But you can't afford it anyway, can you? Another plan that fails. Good job. What is that now? Plan E? Plan F? You're gonna run out of letters at this rate. Qué emocionante. Oop. Oh, good. This place again. Definitely on a clip show. Trevor, this is not good American Arcadia material. <sighs> Perfecto. Ya podemos Where avanzar. Are you going, Trevor? Pues avanzar. Me has abierto el camino. You're still trying when you know there is no way to escape from Arcadia. Mind your own damn business. Who do you think you are? Some sort of action hero? You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern. You've been hearing it throughout your whole life. It provides an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. You were born with it just like any other Arcadian citizen. Está ahí en el fondo. Ahí veo las unas gafas. Ah, pero eso es él, probablemente, porque estos son, son, son rejas. So the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a failsafe button. Oops. Una mala caída. You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern. You've been hearing it throughout your whole life. It provides an extreme vale. sensation of well-being and comfort. Me gusta el juego de luces con los bajos. So the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a failsafe button. A failsafe button. A failsafe button. A fail.
Freedom. Well done, Trevor. Okay, who is this? I am Angela Guardiana. Wow, a guardian angel. Like Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life. Now your aspiration must be freedom. Freedom like no other. In a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M, the most perfect work of engineering ever designed, and your favorite car. Vale, esto es. I'm on a rainbow road. <laughs> Super Mario. Angela Guardiana. You are going to escape from Arcadia. And how am I going to do that? With the help of Kovacs, of course. Vaya tela. Thanks to my exquisite cabbage, cabbage breakfast. breakfast. That, that was, was uh, quite a trip, huh, Trevor? Was. <laughs> Are you sure the jingle won't affect me now? Of course. You're 100% jingle, jingle free. free. See, Trevor? Science always finds a way. Jeez, this is awesome. Finally, man, you're, you're gonna, gonna make it. it. No, 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 Kovacs, don't say that. You'll jinx it again. Oh, no, I jinxed it. Oh, no, not again, man. Uh, I'm not. I'm not feeling so well. I'm glitching. Oh no, I'm glitching. Vaya tela. Trevor, what are you doing in here? This is the Limelight, the best disco club on the 15th floor of the Arcadia Spire. Oh, by yours truly, Vivian Walton. I don't want to be here. I'm not really into clubbing. Then leave. Now. Yeah, I would, but I can't stop dancing. I gotta admit, this rhythm is super groovy. Vale, vamos a dejar aquí por hoy. Esto ha sido Charlie Winter de Blanco y esto ha sido raro. En la mente de Trevor. Hasta la próxima. Adiós.